Hey everybody, Justin Sainer here. How's it going? I've got a really great video all about Facebook Marketplace dropshipping. It's super hot right now, and I'm gonna go over a handful of things that you must know before you get started. So let's jump right into it. Okay, so first let's talk about how Facebook Marketplace dropshipping works. The whole idea is that you're gonna be selling someone else's product, right? That's what dropshipping is. So you're gonna create a Facebook Marketplace listing. You're gonna sell someone else's product. You're gonna put their images, their title, their description. Then you'll mark up the price so you can make a profit. And then that uh, product will be out there in the marketplace for anyone to purchase. So in terms of the transaction, how it works, a customer will actually be able to pay and check out all inside of Facebook. It's called Facebook Pay or Facebook Payments. They're never gonna have to leave. They never have to go to your website. They don't need to send you Venmo or PayPal. The transaction actually takes place on Facebook right inside a messenger. And there's gonna be some fees associated with that. Facebook's gonna charge a 5% fee on the entire selling price. So if you sell something for let's say $10, they're gonna charge a 50 cent fee, right? 5% of the total sales price. But you get paid through Facebook as well. They're gonna pay you directly into your bank account. So the transaction happens on Facebook and you get paid directly through Facebook as well, right into your bank account. A little bit more specifically, you get paid after the product is delivered to the customer. That's why it's so important to always update tracking information. That's why it's definitely important to never go with any dropship provider that doesn't provide tracking information. Basically five days after the product is delivered, Facebook is gonna then mark this transaction complete and then get you paid out. So you basically get paid after the product is delivered. And again, that tracking number has to be supplied into Facebook, right into that Facebook marketplace order. So Facebook can make sure everything is going correctly. The, the customer can track the order, obviously know that it's shipped, hopefully arriving soon. And then at the end of it, you can get paid again directly through Facebook payments. When you're picking your products, right? When you're picking the actual products to drop ship, you need to make sure that you're picking USA based suppliers or retailers that are gonna ship your product really quickly. Not only do you need tracking information, right? US, or USPS, UPS, right? You need actual real trackable uh, data. You need that tracking number. So you submit that into your Facebook marketplace order, but you also need to make sure that your dropshipper ships within seven days. The official documentation says that the order must ship within seven days and the total transaction must be completed, i.e. the customer must receive it within 30 days. Now, really, we kind of think seven days is a little bit long, even though that is the official number, we really go by three days. We wanna make sure that every single one of our providers, every single one of our dropship suppliers can actually ship out the item and provide the tracking number within three days. So unfortunately that means print on demand in this case doesn't really work because that little processing time at the front of it. Another thing sellers should note, buyers have about 30 minutes to cancel their order. That's how it's written inside of the documentation from Facebook, which they provide. 30 minutes to cancel the order. So typically what people do, they just fulfill all their orders once a day, and that kind of eliminates any potential for you to uh, accidentally fulfill an order that might get canceled. They only have 30 minutes to do that. So again, just fulfill once per day all the orders and you'll be good to go there. But, but buyers do have about 30 minutes to cancel their order. So let's talk about taxes. At the $599 mark, right? Once you make over $599 in sales, Facebook is gonna ask you to basically confirm and verify your account. And this is important. This is why it really works perfectly for US sellers. You're gonna to need to enter in your social security number and verify your information at this point. Can't put an EIN number, you can't put a foreign number. Obviously it needs to be a social security number. So you'll need to have that at that point. And that gets automatically triggered once you hit $599 in sales. Facebook will basically pause your account, ask you to verify before you can continue. And of course, you wanna put your real information in here since we're dealing with payments, bank accounts, and all that good stuff. Another thing about taxes, Facebook is gonna deal with all of the sales tax, so you won't have to worry about that. You're never gonna collect any sales tax personally. Facebook will collect that on your behalf and you won't need to deal with any type of sales tax registration or refunds or tax things like that. Again, it's gonna be all handled by Facebook. They might charge tax to the buyer, but you'll never collect that. You're only getting paid out basically the 95% of that sales price, right? That 5% selling fee is what Facebook keeps. You get the rest of whatever that total sales price is, not including any sales tax, which Facebook handles automatically for you. A big thing I see, some people don't have the shipping option available inside of their Facebook Marketplace account. And if you're a US account and you still don't have the Facebook shipping option, it's definitely available, you just don't have it yet. 
Uh, what I've seen some people do, basically sell some things locally, get some reviews, get some ratings, get some successful transactions just on Marketplace in terms of local, and then eventually you'll get that feature unlocked. But most US accounts already have the shipping option available, and this is, of course, how we do drop shipping. If we didn't have the shipping option, if it was just local, we couldn't implement any of these strategies. I think the biggest thing to take away from all this, you want to jump on Facebook Marketplace right now. You want to start listing items, pick a dropship supplier, pick a popular retailer, just get products out there. Just see the power of Facebook Marketplace. We literally have people making sales the same day. We had someone make sales within 15 minutes of listing their products. Facebook Marketplace is incredibly hot. It leverages all of the different data points that Facebook has collected about us, which is basically every single thing in the world. They know everything about all of their users. That's why they're going to populate the best products right in front of them. And that's why if you go to Facebook Marketplace and I go to Facebook Marketplace, we're going to see different products. And we need to jump into that ASAP, right? We want to make sure we have our products out there. We want to be drop shipping. We want to be taking advantage of this really unique opportunity. So number one thing to do, make sure you jump right into Facebook Marketplace. I've got a free training. Make sure you take a look at the links in the description. I've also got a course where I hold your hand, teach you step-by-step -step exactly how to master these strategies and make a ton of money with Facebook Marketplace. So if you have any questions, please use the comment box. I'll answer as many as I can. But again, biggest thing right now, as soon as this video is over, jump right into Facebook Marketplace dropshipping. There's literally no money out of pocket to get started and you can make sales today. So hope you make some money and I'll talk to you real soon.